Amen. Hallelujah. Feliz Domingo por la mañana, pastors Jose and Patricia. We want to welcome you to the New Beginnings Church of the Big Band, a church you can call home. Amen. Where we honor God, love families, we serve others, and we pursue excellence. Bienvenidos a la Iglesia del Nuevo Comienzo. We want to welcome all our NBC family, all our, <clears throat> all our visitors, and all of you that are joining us by audio and video. Amen. So, bienvenidos a la Iglesia que, eh, del Nuevo Comienzo eh, y a todos los que nos escuchan por audio y video. Prepárese a recibir lo que el Señor tenga para usted. So, praise God. We want to uh, let you know that God loves you and we love you. Amen. And we're going to be talking today about God's love. You know, something that we need to talk about all the time. God's love. You know, some of us, we forget. You know, when all we, we get so wrapped around in the things of the world, we forget about all this, you know. But God loves us so much. And we, we, our main scripture is John 3.16. For God so loved the world that he gave up and he sacrificed his only begotten son. Amen. Ooh, so prepare yourselves to receive. God has something for you. He said he wants to bless you. He wants to encourage you. He wants to change you. But he also wants to correct you. He's your yeah. heavenly father. We're his church. We're yeah. his body. Amen. We're his children. Yeah. And he wants to correct us. He say, let's go the right way. And he put us here to be winners and, and champions and overcomers. He didn't put us here to lose. Amen. So if you're on the losing side, that means you got to confess it. Or you got to dethrone yourself. Yeah. Get off the throne and put him back on the throne. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Woo, hallelujah. That, that's on a daily basis. Yeah. Amen. So praise God. I'm excited. I'm on go. So let's grab our swords, so dear God, and let's make this declaration together. Amen. Woo, prepare yourselves. Come on. This is my Bible. I am what it says I am. I have what it says I have. I can do what it says I can do today. I'll be taught the word of God. I boldly confess. My mind is alert. My spirit is receptive. And I'll never be the same in Jesus' name. You know what? You know, you want to change from day to day. Yeah. You want to change all the time. You know, yes. change yes. is good. The yes. only one that doesn't change is God. He says, I'm God, I change not. I change and we're going to use that scripture in a few minutes. Mm -hmm. But you know what? We need to change. You know why? Because we are growing and we're maturing. Just like yes. a baby, you know, a baby grows up. You don't stay a baby and you That's don't stay it. an infant, you know. You That's go from it. carrying them, you know, or in the mother's womb, to, to in the arms, to, to crawling, to walking, and you know, he's mature and he's growing. Yes. We need to do as baby. We, we can't stay baby Christians all That's our lives. It. It. Amen. We need to get the truth in us yes. so we can speak the truth. He says the yes. truth yes. is going to set you free. Yes. Amen. So whoo, we need to be hearers and doers of the word of God. Amen. Yes. Hallelujah. I was telling the church we put a new sign up here today. <laughs> and it says... Just so that you know that there's a whole lot of Jesus in here. And we're talking about that in this place we're assembling ourselves. There's a whole lot of Jesus in here, yes. in me. That's what yes. we need him, amen. We need to stay yes. full. Just like we keep our cars full of gas oh, yeah. so we can take us where we want to go. Yeah. We got to keep ourselves spiritually filled amen. with the word of God, amen. To overflowing. So that, you know, when God is looking for people, who, who can I send? Yeah. Well, look, there's brother so-and-so and sister so-and-so and man they're overflowing okay. man i need to use them and send you on a mission you know to go and fulfill what he wants you to do amen he might yeah. just want you to tell the homeless person god loves you yeah. god cares for you amen Woo, hallelujah you know what stay ready stay ready stay ready we used to practice that a whole lot when i was in the in the, in the military the retired military but you know what we stayed ready every day because you don't know when you're going to be called for war. Amen. So you got to know what, whatever it is that you know. Whatever your specialty is. And you got to be ready. Because they're depending on you. Amen. God's depending on you to go and fulfill what he's called you to do. Amen. But you got to stay filled. And you got to stay battle ready. Woo, hallelujah. Yeah. I'm excited. I don't know about you. Amen. But I got a few things I want to share with you. I want to thank the praise team. You know what? They... We have some awesome songs that we sang, and one of them was this. We're going to be talking about God's love. He says, I keep falling in love with him. Yeah. I keep falling in love with him over and over and over again. Woo. Yeah. God is love. Amen. And we're going to be talking about that in a few minutes, but God is love. But we need to keep falling in love with him over and over again. You know how to do that? Having a relationship. Yes. And that's what Christianity is all about is having a relationship yeah. with the Father. He's knocking. Mm -hmm. You know, when you have a relationship with him, 
hey, Lord, you have an open door. Just come on in. Mm -hmm. Amen. Hallelujah. Yeah. <laughs> so I keep falling in love with him over and over and over. He oh, says he gets sweeter and sweeter as the days go by. Oh, what the love. Oh, what a love between the Lord and I. Yes. Man, man, that's have the best relationship, man. I keep falling yeah. in love with him over and over. But you oh, know what? Wow. If you don't renew your mind, if you don't feed on the, on the word of God mm -hmm. and you don't renew your mind, the world is going to wash it all out. Okay. Amen. The world is what wants to come in. And the enemy, the Bible says, 10 John 10, 10, he comes to steal, kill, and destroy. Steal, kill, and, and he wants to take all that away from you. Mm -hmm. Amen. So that you can start carrying all these cares on you instead of casting it on him. Mm -hmm. Amen. So that's not for you. That's not for you to carry. He says, cast it on me. I defeated the enemy. So now cast all that on me because I have a mission for you to fulfill. Amen. And you're going to fulfill your mission and you're going to be a winner and a champion for him if you give it all to him, you know, Woo. and do it all for him. So I keep falling in love with him. It says over and over mm -hmm. and over. When do I stop? You don't. <laughs> Hallelujah. Thank you, praise team. That blessed me. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. We're going to be talking about God's love. I have a couple of... Uh, Scripture nuggets I want to read to you. It says, God's love. God loves you. You're God's favorite. You know what the enemy, again, what the enemy tries to do? He tries to, he can't make you do anything, but you know what? The battlefield is the mind. He tries to yes. put negative thoughts in there for you. Mm -hmm. You know, it says, you know, you, you're nobody. God don't care for you. God don't love you. He died for everybody else but you. Mm. And everybody don't care about you. He says, but you're God's favorite. You know, if you want to make somebody mad, just let them know, you know what? I'm God's favorite child. Mm -hmm. Amen? And people are going to be jealous yeah. immediately. You know, they're going, ooh, the horns are going to come pop up, you know? No, he says, no one can change that. No one is more important to God than you are. You have to confess these things to yourself and let them know. He says, you know what? I'm God's favorite child. Amen. Amen? Woo, hallelujah. No one is more important to God than you. There is no one he wants to spend time with more than than me, mm -hmm. than you. Amen. So, man, you got to build yourself up. Stir yourself up. Amen. There's no one who loves you more, no one that loves you more than you. You are unique. You are special. You are an original. Remember, an original is more important than a copy. Mm -hmm. You're not a copy of anything. God made you an original. So see yourself the way God sees you. Amen. Woo, hallelujah. And there's no one else like you. Thank God. Thank you, Lord. He loves you just as you are. We don't have to change. If we're going to change, we're going to change from the world to him. Amen. That's what we need to change. Amen. Who are we going to worship? You are beautiful in his sight. You are a special. You have a special place in God's heart. Nothing will ever change that. See yourself the way he sees you. Amen. Amen. Man, when you build yourself up, nothing, nothing, nothing is going to move you and shake you. You know what we need to do? We need to grow some faith roots. <laughs> we need to grow some, some faith roots that go deep, you know. When the storms of life come, you know, you just wave back and forth, but you ain't going to be moved. When the enemy comes and tells you these things, you know what? They say, that's not scriptural. That's not what the Word of God says. I'm not going to move. I'm not going to move because my faith roots are deep in in the, the things of God. Amen. Woo, yeah. Hallelujah. First John 4 and 8 says, He who does not love does not know God. Why? Because God is love. Mm -hmm. And the Bible tells in John 3 16, what? For God so loves, loves the love world. The world. People, wherever you happen to go, guess what? You're not going to be alone. There's always yeah. people. People oh, around yeah. you. <laughs> There's people all around you. And all you know right. what? They're going to see you're going to be the closest thing to Jesus. They'll never be around. Yes, you're going to be the closest thing to a Bible they'll never be around or listen or hear. Amen. Yeah. Hallelujah. John 3 16 again. For God so loved the world, he gave his only begotten Son, that whoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. life. Amen. You know what? If you die, whatever you die, if you happen to die, mm -hmm. this is not the end. This is the beginning. Yeah. Amen. <laughs> so this is not my home. Earth is not my home. Heaven yeah. is my home. And you know what? If I happen to die, I'm gonna I know where I'm gonna spend my eternity, and that's in heaven. Amen. Woo. 
Uh, Psalms uh, 37, 4 and 5 says this. Delight yourself in the Lord and he'll give you the desires of your heart. Commit your ways to the Lord and also trust in him and he shall bring it to pass. Amen. Ooh, man, all these are, are blessings, blessings, yes. blessings. You should know, I'm going to read you this and this receive it for yourself. Amen. Because you know the world, people, jealous people are going to tell you God can use you. Mm. God has no plans for you. Mm. But Jeremiah 29, 11 says, yes. For I know the thoughts I think of uh, towards you, mm -hmm. saith the Lord, thoughts of peace and not of evil, to give you a future and a hope. He has yeah. plans for you. He didn't put yeah. you here for you to sit out on your Como Shiyama and do yeah. nothing. He put you here to fulfill a mission he gave you. Amen. But we need to spend time with yeah. our Heavenly Father. Amen. We need to have relationship with him. Amen. Woo. Hallelujah. So anyway, pastor's excited. <laughs> Hallelujah. God is love. We're going to be talking. You can write that down. God is love. Yeah. I'm going to read you a story here. Well, let me read you this first. We already read it. I'm going to read it to you again. Carmen, go to uh, for uh, John 3.16. John 3.16, King James says, For God so loved the world. God so loved the world. We're talking about His love. Agape love. Unconditional love amen yeah. Woo, hallelujah agape love that he gave he said his only begotten son that whoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting, everlasting life. life 17 yeah. says for god sent not his son into the world to condemn the world but that the yeah. world through him may be saved amen yeah. there you go right there amen praise god and you know what this is in this is uh if you never heard this before you can write this down john 3 16 has been called the gospel in a nutshell. Mm -hmm. The gospel in a nutshell. Yeah. For God so loved the world. People. Mm -hmm. That he gave his only begotten son. That whoever yeah. believeth in him should not perish. But yeah. have everlasting yeah. life. For God sent not his son into the world to condemn the world. But that the world through him might be saved. saved. Amen. Yeah. So. In a nutshell. The, is, this is the gospel. And John 3.16 says. This is the gospel in a nutshell amen yes. Ooh, praise god anyway i'm just going to read you some of this yeah uh, go to uh luke uh, 15 carmen there we go anyway it's talking about the prodigal son mm -hmm. you know what the prodigal did the prodigal son did you know when he got came of age mm -hmm. he just told the daddy you know what <laughs> i have an inheritance coming to me so just give it to me and took off and went and did his own thing. A lot of us have been that way. You know, we just yeah. rebel and we just want to go and do our own oh, thing. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. So that's what he did. And you know what? You're going to find all kinds of friends. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and as long as you're buying and yeah. as long as you're giving, uh -huh. they're going to be around. <laughs> Amen. Yeah. Until he found himself in the pit with mm -hmm. the pigs. Amen. And then. Uh, Luke uh, 15 20 through 24 says this it says and he rose you know what he finally decided you know what <laughs> I can do better at father's house yes. man he's better company than these pigs you know <laughs> so we could do better <laughs> he didn't put us here to fellowship with pigs amen <laughs> but he said so he rose and he went to his father mm -hmm. but when he was yet a great ways off his father saw him yes. and he had compassion he had love and let me read it from from here he says so he returned home to, to father listen i'm just letting you know this is this is a type shadow of god wanting us to come home mm -hmm. amen and listen since the father saw him at a distance and says, and while he was still ways off, the father saw him coming. Filled with love and compassion, he ran to his son, embraced him and kissed him. His son said to him, Father, I have sinned against both uh, heaven and you, and I'm no longer worthy of being called your son. But his father said to the servants, quick, bring the finest robe in the house and put it on him get a, a, a ring for his finger mm -hmm. and sandals for his feet and kill the calf we have been fattening we have 
we it says we must celebrate uh, with a feast for this son of mine was dead and now returns to life he was lost but now he is found so the party began Amen. Amen. You know what? God is looking for you. You are watching. You are listening. You know, you've been running from God all this time. You've been out there in the world. You've been out there with some pigs, you know. All right. And you know what? You could do better at Father's house. And you know what he's doing? He's looking and he's watching yeah. and he's, he's waiting for you to come home. Yeah. And you know what he's going to do? Since the father ran to meet him yeah. and embraced him and kissed him. And you know what? The son says, you know, father, I'm not worthy to be called your son anymore. You know, I've sinned against you. I've sinned, I've, I've sinned against you. You know, but you know what? The father didn't hear that. Yes. You know what? Let's remember when God forgives he forgets yes amen Lord. so we need to remember that because the enemy is going to use that against you uh -huh. he's going to bring it back to you it's going to put it in your thoughts you know yes. and you're going to hear it all the time all until the time. you wash it out the blood of jesus washed all that away mm -hmm. amen and father says i forgive and forget and you need to do the same thing amen because the enemy is going to use that and keep you prisoner yes. all the time all the time all the time just like a little hamster on, a, on, a, on that little wheel, you know? Mm -hmm. It's going to be in your mind all the time until you time. wash it off. The blood of yes. Jesus washed all that away. Amen. So you need to remind yourself of that. Jesus forgave me and forgot about it. Mm -hmm. You need to do the same thing. And when you forget that, you're going to get busy for the things of God. Yes. Amen. And not the things of the world. And the enemy can hold you down and That's keep it. you down any longer. That's you're going to get up and walk. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Ooh, praise God. And pastor excited or what? <laughs> Amen. So, hallelujah. And you know what? As you do this, keep falling in love with him every every day, all the time. I keep falling in love with him over and over and over. You know what? For God so loved the world. Yes. For God so loved the world. And Jesus loved us so much. He was allowed to be sacrificed. Mm -hmm. So we need to do the same thing. Give him your best. Don't give him second best. We you hear this all the time. Part-time believer is no match for a full-time devil. He wants to steal, kill, and destroy you, and he's gonna do it if you let him. You gotta change your ways and you gotta change the way you speak. You can't speak defeat anymore. You gotta speak what the word of God says. You gotta speak the word, speak the truth, and it's gonna set you free from the world and the mindsets and the traditions of the world. Amen. Woo, hallelujah. Praise God. Praise God. Good. Keep going. There we go. First John 4, 7, 8. New Living Translation here says, Dear friends, let's continue to love one another. For the love comes from God. Woo. God is love. Yes. Anyone who loves is born of God and knows God. But anyone who does not love does not know God. Why? Yes. Because God is love. love. <laughs> God is love. Amen. And that's, we're talking about agape love, yes. unconditional love. Mm -hmm. There's nothing you can do or say is going to make you love you more. Amen. Amen. It's unconditional. You know, like us, we have a conditional type of love. If you do this, I'll do yeah. this. If you do this, I'll love you more. You know, go wash the dishes. You wash the dishes, I'm going to love you more. Yeah. <laughs> Empty the trash, you know, <laughs> I'm going to love you more. No, 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 no. No, God is love. Agape love, unconditional, unconditional love. Amen. Woo, hallelujah. Man, if that don't stir you up, nothing will. Mm -hmm. We got to stir ourselves up and keep ourselves going. Amen. Here we go. Look at this. God is love. Amen. <coughs> Praise God. Thank you, love. Thank you, Lord. <laughs> I said, thank you, love. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Keep going. John 13, 34 and 35 says this. says, a new commandment I give unto you, that ye love one another as I have loved you, that ye also love one another. But this shall all men know, that ye are my disciples, if you have loved one to another. Amen. Mm -hmm. So we love one another. Amen. For God is love. He says, if you don't have love, you, ain't, you don't know God. Yeah. Amen. For because God is love. Amen. Let me read it to you from the easy to read version. It says, I give you a new commandment. Love each other. Yeah. You must love each other just as I love you. Mm -hmm. Remember, for God so loved the world. Love he, the world. <laughs> not all them folks was 
uh, loving people. Huh. But he, he he sacrificed his son for all them anyway. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. It says all people will know that you are my followers if you love each other. Yeah. It says people will see people will see the difference. Mm -hmm. Amen. They're gonna do all kinds of ugly <coughs> things and raise all kind of rage. Amen. Mm -hmm. To see if you're for real. So <laughs> listen. Watch your words yes. and watch your actions. Amen. Amen. Woo. This is a time, Carmen, where you go to the last two. <laughs> and again, part-time believer is no match to a full-time yes, devil. Amen. It. We're no match to a full-time mm -hmm. devil. We need to mature and grow. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I just put this uh, for us to see. <laughs> Since God wants full custody of his children, not just weekend visitors. Mm-hmm. Amen. Just because you came uh, on Christmas or Easter or Thanksgiving, you know, don't no. make you full time. You know, we got to do it on a daily basis because we fight the enemy. Listen, we don't fight flesh and blood. We fight principalities. Mm -hmm. We fight spiritual beings in high places. Yes. Amen. And you're no match to them That's it. if you're not in the word of God. That's, it. That's the only way to defeat them. Amen. Is through the word and confessing the word and speaking the word amen mm -hmm. Ooh, hallelujah thank you keep going next one says please don't say you'll go to jail for your faith when you don't even go to church for it <laughs> <laughs> come on now is that hitting home you know we gotta see you know what hey i was gonna stay home today because my favorite football team's on you know mm. but patricia says but you're the pastor you gotta go you gotta yeah. go preach <laughs> You know, you can make excuses each and every day yes. to do what you want to do. That's it. But you, you know what? Here's the thing. Mm -hmm. Jesus didn't make an excuse no, to be sacrificed. No, he didn't. Amen. And that was not a nice mm -hmm. a crucifixion. Mm -hmm. That was not a nice beating that he took. Mm. It says, by his stripes, we are healed. Yes. You know, and he was beaten he was humiliated mm. amen the bible says he was unrecognizable yes amen that's the kind of beating he took for oh. you amen and we keep ignoring him he's yes. knocking and we ignore him always mm. you again you know well guess what tomorrow's not guaranteed that's it that's so it. you know what today's a day of salvation yes so you need to say to the lord just like the prodigal son said, you know mm -hmm. what? I could do better with his father's house. Mm -hmm. And I can go and fulfill what God wants me to do. Yeah. He's not going to take his calling from you. No. One day you're going to have to stand before him yeah. and say, why didn't you fulfill what I mm -hmm. asked you to do? And yet, what excuse are you going to have? Yeah. Well, I was too busy. No, that's mm -hmm. not an excuse. Jesus could have been so busy, but he fulfilled what God, mm -hmm. his father, sent him to do. Yes. We need to do the same thing. Jesus Thank first, you. seek ye first the kingdom of God, yes. his righteousness, and all these other things shall be added on to you. Yes. Amen. So get your priorities in order. Amen. I don't care where you work, mm -hmm. what you do, get right with Jesus yes. and then serve him first. Amen. Amen. And all these other things. You say he's going to bless all your plans. Mm -hmm. Amen. And he's going to bless you yes. for fulfilling what he's called you to do. Amen. Amen. You, you can't do it on your own. That's it. Amen. That's it. You got to do it. Be full-time believer. Yes. Amen. Be yes. full-time for him. Woo. Where are we? Keep going. Praise God. Thank you. <laughs> go back, Carmen, to Romans 5.5. Five. The Romans 5.5 five says, New King James, the love of God has been poured out in our hearts by the yes. Holy Ghost, Holy who Ghost. was given to us. Amen. Amen. Woo. Hallelujah. It says, I hope and hope make not the same because mm -hmm. the love of God is shed abroad in our hearts by the Holy Ghost yeah. which is given unto us okay. you know what the Holy Ghost is our helper and he's yes. there and we can go to him all the time you know what he says our bodies are the temple of the Holy Ghost yes. amen so guess what wherever you go he goes yes. <laughs> so you can't hide from him That's it. he's right there with you <laughs> and he's there to bless you help you and say Lord I need your help mm -hmm. well Check in, you know, Holy Ghost yes. is right there. He wants to bless you. He wants to help you. Amen. Mm -hmm. Woo, keep going. Thank you, Lord. Oh, praise God. Woo, leave it right there. I got several translations here for you. I got one another one here or written here, but Hebrews 10, uh, 24, 25. Hebrews 10, 24, and 25. The Amplified, I'm going to read it to you from the, from the Amplified. It says this, and let's not consider thoughtfully how we may encourage 
one another to love and to do good deeds not forsaking our meeting together as believers for worship and instruction as is the habit of some as is the habit of some but encouraging one another and all the more faithfully as you see the day of Christ return approaching the day of Christ is coming he's coming yes. back he said he's coming back yes. and it's coming getting closer and closer uh -huh. amen Hebrews 10 24 25 in the New King James says and let us consider one another in order to stir up love mm -hmm. and good works not forsaking the assembly of ourselves together in the manner of some All right. but exhorting one another and so much the more as you uh -huh. see the day you day. see day approach and in capital letters the day of Christ is approaching yes amen so listen don't make excuses the bible tells us not to forsake That's it. ourselves you know what the enemy tried to do this covid thing you know drove people away from church and mm. then they told you not to meet you know mm. but the bible tells us not to forsake the assembling of ourselves together amen. we're not here to entertain you we're here to empower you and encourage you so that you can go and do what god has called you to do Amen. So praise God. Thank you, Lord. Praise God. And the new uh, living translation says, let us think of ways to motivate one another and to act to acts of love and good works. And let us not neglect our meeting together as some people do. And you know what? These tears are not all full. Why? Because <laughs> some people are just playing church and they're staying home. And you know what? You can you can watch it on tv or you can get it on radio whatever which ways you get it but you know what if you don't have a church if you don't have a god if you don't have a church family when you need help and you need somebody to pray for you them folks on tv ain't gonna help you <laughs> amen and then folks at church that can't come to your house and visit you like your local church can okay you need a, a you need a family you need a church family that could be there for you. You need a Amen. pastor. You need a shepherd. Just like we have our shepherd, Jesus. Oh. Amen. We need a pastor to be there for you. To pray for you. Encourage you. You know. And, and tell you what the word of God says. Amen. So let's not neglect our meeting together as some people do. But encourage one another. Especially now that yes. the day of his, his, his capital. His return is drawing near Amen. he's coming you know hey yes, he is. guess what one day he's going to show up and you ain't going to be ready <laughs> oh, and once he's yeah. gone and we're raptured out of here guess what you're going to stay behind it's nobody's fault but yours yeah so you need to make your mind make up your mind now and amen. do it now and not wait forever amen Woo, hallelujah <laughs> easy to read translation we should think about each other and to see how we can encourage each other and to show love and do good works we must not quit meeting together you understand what he said what he keeps yes. saying we must not meet we must not quit meeting together as <coughs> some are doing and you know you watching you listening you need to be at somebody's church wherever yeah. god sent you you yeah. know he didn't tell you to stop you <coughs> stop right. yourself Amen. You don't want to be around people, but guess what? Everywhere you go, there's, there's people. people. Even when you go to the bar, there's people. Yes. Amen. You go to the, you go shop, there's people. You go to the doctor, there's people all around you. Yes. Wherever you happen to go, there's people. So you yes. can't get away from people. That's you got to be around people to live in this world. That's it. Amen. That's so it. <laughs> no quit, 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 quit making excuses. <laughs> says no we need to keep on encouraging each other yeah. you know what brother you know what sister you make can make it. You can make, it you can make it you can make it you're a winner you're a champion mm -hmm. god put you here to win yes. god put you here to to, to do for him That's amen it. this becomes more and more important as you see the day in capital the day getting closer and yeah. it's getting closer and closer yes. all the time and then hallelujah praise Lord god, god. Woo, you still love pastor huh? yes. <laughs> god is love and god's love, love again Lord. is unconditional. unconditional so we need to make our love unconditional mm. amen we, we're the closest thing to, to christ there is on earth why because we're his body 
And we can't be pretenders. We're going to participate. You know, when you become a, 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 a spectator, you become a judge. Yo, and you start judging people. Come on. <laughs> That's not what he put us here for. No. We're participators. We're sharing him. Amen. We're sharing him. We're sharing his word. Yes. We're doing his word. We're walking on, on this earth for him. Yes. Amen. And doing for him. Amen. Wherever you happen to go. Mm. Keep going. Yes. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. And this is good. Yes. First John 4 and 20. Uh -huh. I'm going to read you First John 4 and 19, 20. New Living Translation. We love each other because he loved us first. 20 says, if someone says I love God but hates a fellow believer, that person is a liar. I didn't say that. The word of God says that. Amen. For if we don't love people that we can see, how can we love a God whom we cannot see? Come on. <laughs> is it ringing? The phone ringing? <laughs> uh-oh. 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 But God's love is not in any way influenced by anything we say or do. Mm -hmm. He loves us, you know. Mm -hmm. we, we try to do this for one another here on uh, in this world. But you know what? Whether you're rich or poor, whether you got it or don't got it, you know, God is going to love you. Yes. For God so loved the world. Love the world. He loved you so much. He sacrificed his son. Yes. That shows you how much he loved you. His love is unconditional. That's agape love. Yes. But yes. our love is conditional. If you do for me. If you do this. If you whatever. That's not the God kind of love. Yes, yes. Amen. And agape love is the highest love there yes. is. Amen. There's different loves. <laughs> agape is the highest. Okay. We'll talk about yes. that another time. Praise God. Keep going. Hallelujah. Ephesians 2, 8 through 10 says this. For by grace are ye saved through faith and not that of yourself. It is a gift of God. Amen. Amen. Gift of God. He sacrificed his son and Jesus died for us to have salvation. You know, even at the cross, <laughs> the two robbers with him, two thieves. <laughs> and one of them still mocking him. And the other one says, remember me. Yes. I re basically he's saying I receive you as my Lord and Savior yes. and he says today you'll be with me in paradise mm -hmm. amen so you know some of these churches that have all kind of do's and don'ts you know and you got to do this and do this and whatever he didn't have to go through all that That's it. he just confessed them now. he just confessed them you know mm -hmm. so don't let nobody tell you you got to say this and do this and step this and step here no mm -hmm. he just confessed him as Lord and Savior yes. and he, you can say it on your deathbed. You can say it in prison. You can say it wherever you are. In your cars. You know. And he will come to be your Lord and Savior. Yes. Amen. And he told him. He says today you'll be with me in paradise. He says you know what. Yes. We're going to die today. But guess what. You're still going to be with me in paradise. Yeah. Amen. Hallelujah. I forgot what I was coming. It's a gift of God. Not of works. Unless yeah. any man should boast. boast. You know what? If it's because of, of works, you know, mm -hmm. man is going to say, well, look what I did, you know. Uh -huh. No, That's no, it. no. It's not because of works. That's unless it. any man should boast. For we are his workmanship yes. created in Christ Jesus unto good works, yes. which God hath before ordained, that we should walk in, in them. them. Yes. Ooh, hallelujah. Yes. Man, that blesses you. Yes. So guess what? We are valuable Listen, yes, we are. God does not love us because we are valuable. We are valuable because he loves us. Yes. yes. <laughs> Amen. We are valuable because he loved us. We are great because we are his children. Amen. Woo. And he wants to bless you. Nothing we say and do can make him love us more or less. That's it. His love is unconditional. Amen. Amen. Let's get that. Let's get that down. You know why? Because the world people are going to tell you, you know what, well, if you do this, he's going to love you more. No, no. You know, no. No, no, no. <laughs> and listen, another thing is, the problem is not with him. Yes, it is. The problem is with now. us. We got to get this right. Yeah. And we got to say the right things and uh -huh. do the right things and get right with him and get yeah. in relationship with him. Amen. Because the problem is not him. We are the problem. Yes. We got to straighten out this problem. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and oh, we're, oh, oh. <laughs> Praise God. Thank you, Lord. How you going, Carmen? <clears throat> <laughs> oh, 
I only got a few more. <laughs> it says, uh, 1 John 4 and 10 says, Herein is love. Not that we loved God, but that he loved us and sent his son to be a propitiation of our sins. Yes. Amen. Woo, hallelujah. Yes. Praise God. Let me see. I wrote it here. It says, This is real love. Not that we love God, but he loved us yes. and sent his son as a sacrifice to take our sins. Yes. For God so loved the world. Lord. You know, John 3, 16, the gospel in a nutshell. Amen. No matter what your life has been like, we st he still loves you. <laughs> How much do you love him? Yes. You know, let's remember, people are going to be people. And yes. if they're not for Christ, you know, <laughs> don't go and ask an advice for worldly people that are going to tell you, God hates you. God's killing you. God put that on you. No. You know, <laughs> if it's not scriptural, <laughs> don't receive it. That's it. That's, That's not it. for you. That's it. Don't let no worldly person come and That's tell it. you, you know, mm -hmm. what what the Bible says. Mm -hmm. Amen. So remember this as long as you live. You cannot do anything to get God to stop loving you. That's it. It's, it's, it's already a done deal. Yeah. Yeah. He's already sacrificed Jesus. Yes. Jesus came, he was sacrificed, yes. and he rose again. Amen. Yes. He says the Bible said he rose and he seated at the right hand of God, mm -hmm. interceding for us. Yes. He's praying right. for us. He wants us to make it to yes. heaven. But it's up to us yes, to confess him as Lord and Savior. Yes. You're watching, you listening. You need to confess him as Lord and Savior. Yes. You know, you find yourself in the pig pen. <laughs> you know it's time to say. <laughs> Lord, I messed this up, you know, and it's time to get right with you. Yeah. Come my life, be my Lord and Savior. And you know what? He didn't say you had to go through so many steps. That's it. He'll receive you now, just the way you are. That's it. But we need to get right with him, have a relationship, yeah. and start getting in the word, and yeah. getting the full of the word. So out of our innermost being flow yeah. rivers of every water. Yeah. Amen. You, the word of God is going to flow from you. And you're going to start doing, you know. <clears throat> People enemy is going to use people mm -hmm. to try to hold you back and say you yes. know what this is what you used to be oh. and God can never use you because of that mm -hmm. well that's not scriptural that's it. and that can change yeah the most important thing that can, can you can learn in life is that God never stops loving you yeah amen God never stops loving you listen just a few examples. And there's all kinds of examples. Mm. But Peter denied him three times. Mm. He was willing to go die for, for Jesus. Yeah. Jesus says, before the night's over, <laughs> you'll deny me three times. Yeah. And he did. He denied him three times. Mm -hmm. You know, when they came and asked him, oh, no, I don't know him. <laughs> Is that right? Mm -hmm. And you know what? The third time he said, he didn't know Jesus. Mm. Jesus looked at him and Peter looked at him mm -hmm. and, and, and knew that yes. he knew amen yes. but you know what he used that mightily in preaching the word of God yes, and thousands did. came to Christ yes. because Jesus didn't give up on him That's and right. Jesus is not going to give up on you That's it. That's amen it. Jesus is not going to give up on you he, ha he hasn't yes. it's already a done deal he yes, sacrificed yes. Jesus mm -hmm. and Jesus rose for you to change Yes, and be yes. what he's called you to be. Mm -hmm. Amen. How are we going to find out? Relationship. Have yes. community. Have relationship with him. Yeah. Amen. So sure. that you can know him. He knows all about you. Yes, he knows he the worst about you. And loves you the most. He loves you the most. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise God. Praise God. Says John left them and went back to Jerusalem. Mm -hmm. Right in the middle of a mission journey. He turned around and just gave up. But Christ loved him and used him and caused him to be an asset to the church and the Apostle Paul. Mm -hmm. Amen. He's not giving up on you. Mm -hmm. He's called you. He's anointed you. He's mm -hmm. equipped you mm -hmm. to fulfill what he's called you to do. Amen. And he's not giving up on you. We give up on ourselves. Right. And we give up on what the enemy is putting in your mind, mm -hmm. the battlefield, and putting thoughts there or what people are saying about you. Mm -hmm. Well, you know what? That's not what God's saying about me. Right. Amen. So, renew your mind mm -hmm. with the Word of God and put all that behind you. Amen. Amen. So, let's remember that. <laughs> Praise God. Thank you, Lord. Woo. Praise God. Just a uh, quick things before we close here. 
But God's love is unending. Jeremiah mm -hmm. three, 31 and 3. 31 and 3? Oh, Zacharias. Okay. Let me, let me do Zacharias. I had it up here. Zacharias. Well, you know, Israel was so indecisive. As often as they were, they were hot and cold. You know, one day they were for him, for God, and the other day they they are against God. You know, mm -hmm. they're in the in in in, in the in the, uh, in the desert, mm -hmm. and you know they're for God and they're against God. You know, mm -hmm. and they're doing for God and they're against that. But this is what he sent Zechariah at uh, uh, two and eight says this. Thus says the Lord of hosts. He says he said he sent me yes. after glory to the nations which uh -huh. plunder you. Huh. For he who touches you touches the apple of his eye. Oh, Amen. Boy. And you notice the yeah. apple of his eye. He's talking about Jewish people or yeah. his people. Amen. And I put that on there. That's an Israeli flag. And it says we stand with Israel. Yes. Don't give up on Israel. Pray for Israel. You know, there's yes. no distance in prayer. That's it. Pray, pray for them. They're going through wars and all around them, you know, all, all the nations around them, you know, mm -hmm. are just coming against them. Well, we need to pray and lift them up, you know, support yeah. them, you know, through prayer, through finances, whatever it is. But pray for them and stand with them. Amen. Don't give up on them. That's, That's God's people. And you know what? God, if God is for them, yeah. who can be against them? Who can be against them? That's it. <laughs> so praise God. Keep going, Colonel. <coughs> Jeremiah 31 and 3 says, The Lord hath appeared to old of old unto me, saying, Yea, I have loved thee with an everlasting love yes. therefore with loving kindness have i drawn thee amen mm. Ooh, hallelujah so listen his love is unending amen yes, it is. amen again god's love is unchangeable keep going mm -hmm. god's love is unchangeable oh this is uh from uh, unending it says First, First Corinthians thirteen eight says, "Love never fails." Mm -hmm. Amen. We read this all the time. Yes. God's love is unending; it never fails. Keep going to the next one. This one, Malachi three six. God's love is unchangeable. Oh. He says, "For I am Jehovah; mm -hmm. I change not." Because of this, uh, you you sons of Jacob are not destroyed. Mm -hmm. This says just says, "I am the Lord." I change not. I change not. He, he don't he don't change. Mm -hmm. We change. He yeah. doesn't. Amen. So we need to get ourselves right with him. Yes. So that we don't change. Okay. We need to continue to serve him. Keep going. First uh James one and one and two. Oh, keep going. Pass that one. Keep going. Yeah. Right there. It says, Love is uncompromising. Deuteronomy 32 and 4 says, For he is he is the rock, his word is perfect, yes. for all his ways are just. A God of faithfulness and without evil, just and upright is he. Yes. Amen. Woo, hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Keep going. And in closing, Amen. Well, first I wanted to say this. It says, We must let go and let God. Yes. Amen. We hear it all the time, but it is easier said than done. We we have to let go and let God. Amen. It says give it to God. And uh first Peter five seven says uh -huh. what? Casting all yes. care upon him upon because him. he cares for, for you. Empty yourself each and every day. Every time you get a chance, just cast all that on him Amen. because he cares for you. Because the world is gonna bombard you and try to put all these cares on you mm -hmm. if you allow yourself. Mm -hmm. But you know what? I'm going to give it back to Father. Amen? Because he says to cast it on him and give it to him. Because he cares for us. He, yeah. he cares more. He loves us. That's why. Amen? So, I want to read something to you from the uh, Jesus Calling. And we have these at the bookstore. You can go there and get your own copy. And it's got a devotional each and every day. And I'm going to read you a devotional in closing. And it goes like this. So open up, open your spirit, open your eyes, open your ears, and listen to, listen to this. Yeah. It says, keep your eyes on me, mm. on him. He says, waves of adversity, or excuse me, 
Stop judging. <laughs> I'm reading the wrong day. It's 28. It says, Stop judging and evaluating yourself, for this is not your role. Above all, stop uh, comparing yourself with other people. This produces feelings of pride or inferiority. Sometimes a mixture of both. I lead, <clears throat> I lead each of my children along a path that is unrightly tailored, made for him and her. Comparing is not only wrong, it is also meaningless. Don't look for affirmity in this world, uh, wrong places. Your own evaluation or those of other people. The only source of real affirmation is my unconditional love. Many believe, many believers perceive me as an unpleasing judge, angry, uh, searching out their faults and failures. Nothing could be further from the truth. I died for your sins so that I will clothe you with my garments of salvation. This is how I see your radiant in my robe of righteousness. Uh, where I dis uh, discipline you is never in judge or disgust. It is to prepare you to face to face fellowship with me throughout all eternity. Immerse yourself in the love in my loving presence. Be receive, receptive of my affirmation, which flows continually from the throne of grace. You know something? So we need to stop judging and evaluating ourselves. Mm -hmm. uh, for this is not to grow. Amen. He made us to be, he wants us to be participators and not evaluators, not Amen. judging one another, okay, or spectators, Amen. judging. Amen. So let's remember that. Because the enemy is going to use people mm -hmm. to try to keep you down. Yeah. Amen. And do nothing. And say, you know what? I just want to be lukewarm mm -hmm. for the things of God. I want a little bit of the world and a, oh, and a, and a little bit of God. No. Stop. He wants us to be on fire. Amen. He wants us to be children of God. Amen. So let's remember this. And you know what? Don't forget. We're talking about the love of God. So what you got to do is, is you got to put your Jesus glasses on. <laughs> each and every day Amen. so when you go into the world <laughs> you see Jesus you see people with his love and his compassion yeah. you see people with his love mm -hmm. amen you see people with unconditional love yes. amen with agape love mm -hmm. and you're going to say the right things and think the right things mm -hmm. and not be judgmental what would Jesus do well you know what when you put your Jesus glasses on you start thinking like Jesus does. Mm -hmm. Amen. You get right with him. Spend time with him. Before you go out into the world. Amen. That way you know. You're the closest thing to Jesus. Than people ever be around. Amen. Amen. They may not step into your church. Or your assembly. Or your meeting place. But they'll see you wherever you happen to go. Yes. That's your area right there. God's using you. Amen. Yeah. He, he didn't exclude you. He includes you. So make yourself available to him. Amen. Yes. Praise God. Amen. Did you receive? Yes. Thank yes. you, Lord, for your precious word, Lord. Help yes. us, Lord, to be more Christ-like in yes. Jesus' name. Amen. So some of you, you're watching. You never accepted him. It's time to stop running like the prodigal son, you know. Mm. And it's time to just say, Lord Jesus, <laughs> I've sinned against you. I repent. Come into my life. Be my Lord and Savior. And you know what? He's going to be your Lord and Savior. Start living for Him. Start getting in the Word. And it's going to change you. Amen. Get the Word of God in you and start confessing the Word. Amen. Praise God. Thank you, Lord. If you have sickness in your body, you know what? It's not from God. There's no sickness in heaven He can give you. That's it. Amen. So, I would just speak to that sickness to go in Jesus' name. And my body is the temple of the Holy Ghost. So, I speak no malfunctions in my body in Jesus' name. By his stripes, I am healed. I receive my healing. So body, line up with the word of God and be healed now in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise God. And it's time to give. Go to our website. It should be on your screen there, NBCBigBen.com. And hit that donate button. Or go to, uh, um, if you're mailing it, NBC, uh, NBC PO Box 252, Marfa, Texas, 79843. And for Cash App, just go to New Beginnings Church of the Big Ben. God loves you and we love you. Amen.